happy, very humid. I mean, very humid, cloudy day here in zone 9A and zone 9B in the burbs of uh, Houston. As you can see, I brought my dragons back out. And I still have something more to bring out. Still. And normally I bring them out before before March. But with this man-made weather change, we've had some cold late days. So I decided to wait to bring them out because I didn't want them to get damaged and so forth. So here is some of my dragon fruit. I have more that I have to bring out. And uh, I'm gonna be planting more of these. Those uh, big blue 40 gallon pots I have, you saw the other day in my other video, those are for more dragons. And uh, so I have to build more of these decor trellises on a schedule of 40 PVC. And I haven't watered these dragons. They've been indoors actually for a while, no, longer than normal. They've been indoors for almost two months. I haven't watered them because I want to get them to where they uh, they get out here. They're automatically going to sense they're outside. They're going to sense the moisture in the air, get all the sun. And once I water, once they get once they get rained on here, which is going to be this weekend. It's another reason why I brought them out. We're supposed to have a lot of rain uh, Saturday to Sunday. So once it starts raining, they haven't been watered in two months indoors. They are going to bloom. They should bloom. I mean, they should really bloom. And I'm looking forward to that, to see some of these hopefully bloom and get some dragon fruit. I have several different varieties of dragon fruit. I mean, several. Um, and, and it's, the only thing about dragon fruit, dragon fruit is one of the most nutrient rich fruits you can eat on the planet. It's up there with jackfruit and soursop. So, and it's very delicious, different varieties. I have pink flesh, red flesh, different varieties of red flesh. Uh, the sweet Vietnamese, I mean, sweet sugar dragon. I have... I can go on fruit punch. I have, um, I can go on. There's so many varieties I have. I have, uh, some of these trellises have three varieties. Some of these pots have three varieties in each pot. So you do the math. <laughs> so um, I'm looking forward now to watching these dragons bloom. They've been indoors, been deprived. And uh, they're ready. So until next time, DIY solar, DIY aquaponics, DIY homestead gardening, whatever you do, grow some food, make some own, make some uh, your own power prep. Be ready because nobody's coming to save us.